fall is here and we are one week away from our first Alpha Sig Everywhere event. If you haven't RSVP'd yet, it's not too late. We hope to see you next Tuesday at a Brotherhood gathering in your area. For this month's CEO report, I wanted to share some information that I recently received from the NIC concerning the Fraternity's Growth Index, which is a research project in which the first phase studies growth trends over the past 20 years. And the catalyst for this project is the pending enrollment decline, which will begin in 2025. I've talked about this enrollment cliff, if you will, in a previous CEO report, but the Grand Council has formed a temporary committee to prepare for the enrollment decline. And we've conducted a needs analysis of every campus where we have a chapter, where we want to have a chapter, or where we had a chapter, to see what are the opportunities for expansion and to see what chapters might need a little extra support as we prepare for declining enrollment. But back to the FGI report and some data I think you may find interesting. It's projected that 40% of college students in 2023 are male. For comparison, 50 years ago, 60% of college students were male. Male enrollment post-COVID has declined by 3% on the top 200 campuses with a strong fraternity community and by 12% on the remaining 400 campuses with the fraternity community. Enrollment trends were provided for many states in this report, but I wanted to share just one example for you in the state of Michigan, where we have quite a few chapters. Post-COVID, the male enrollment has increased at the University of Michigan by 4%, while it has seen a decline at virtually every other campus in the state of Michigan. Central Michigan, for example, has had a declining enrollment of 42%, declining male enrollment of 42% post-COVID. So this data will help shape how we support our chapters from housing to recruitment to operations. 20 years ago, the top 35 fraternities had 3,660 chapters. Today, after a high watermark in 2016 of 3960, today we're at the same amount as we were 20 years ago. We've lost one. So how do we compare to our peers? Well, we have had a 569% increase in membership in 20 years. The average increase is 40%. In the last 10 years, our membership has increased by 100% compared to 0% for our peers. Our total membership ranks 11th overall. We've had a 164% increase in the number of chapters over 20 years, compared to no increase for the other leading fraternities. Over the last 10 years, we've increased our chapter footprint by 62%, while our peers have decreased by 6%. But there is an opportunity for improvement, and that's our average chapter size. While our average chapter size has increased by 153% in 20 years, we rank 21st overall among the 35 largest fraternities. I hope you found this interesting, and if you have any questions or need any information, feel free to let me know. When the next CEO report comes out, we'll be in the heart of our Founders Day Challenge in 178 hours of giving. If you've yet to make your gift, please consider going online and doing so today. Thanks for your interest in Alpha Sigma Phi. 